Greetings and welcome to Academic Success Seminar. This video will serve as your very first online virtual lesson titled You and Your College Experience based on Chapter 1. So without further ado, let's get started. College is a place where you will discover yourself as far as what your future holds and what you are capable of doing right now to ensure your academic success. It is a place where you want to identify your career interests, develop traits of a successful college student, and understand how you learn so that you can maximize your college experience in the academic classroom. But first, you may want to think about, why am I here? How will attending a... How will attending and graduating from college benefit me? Am I even prepared to participate in such an environment? This chapter will help you answer some of those questions by providing the initial steps to obtaining academic success. Attending college will help you make better decisions, solve problems, network with other students like, like you, obtain financial stability in the future and also create a better future for you and your family but in order for these things to happen you will not only have to be present in the moment but also make serious plans to complete your degree although you may experience financial personal family or academic issues along the way you can overcome these obstacles by being motivated and learning certain skills needed to succeed in college But, in order to succeed, you must have a plan. You need to think about how long you plan to be in college. How many courses will you take every semester to graduate when, when you planned? The challenges that you may face while on this journey and how you will overcome them. The key is to stay motivated and understand your values so that you will persist and resist the temptation of quitting. In other words, what matters to you? Making a lot of money, learning new things, having nice things, engaging in intelligent conversations, knowing what is going on around you, or just hanging out with your friends. Whatever it is that you value, you need to make sure that it is contributing to your college success and not distracting you. Therefore, you should consider thinking ahead by making sure your major will help you reach your career goals. You do not want to major in something just because you like it. Make sure it is a major that will benefit you upon graduation. I'm not saying that you should not study what you like, but I'm expressing the importance of deeply considering a major that interests you and benefits you at the same time. Consider majoring in a subject that you are good at. Think about your past educational experiences and reflect on subject areas in that which you excelled. These subjects may not be the most interesting to you, but since you are good at it, you will probably benefit more from majoring in it. Most importantly, you want to enjoy being a student. This means that you must maintain a positive attitude about being in college and stay motivated. College consists of students that come from a variety of situations. Even this class has a multitude of types of students from traditional to returning students, uh, transfer students, and more. Even under these categories, there are more subcategories of students like commuters, first generation students, international students, those who are disabled, or those who are working, or those who have a family. Some students fit in several of these categories at the same time. What type of student are you? Regardless, you can be successful. Um, by having a positive attitude, staying motivated, managing yourself well, thinking critically, being prepared for class, being social, staying healthy, being financially responsible, and overall flexible. To initially be a successful college student, you need to understand how you learn 
and there are steps to learning and those steps are preparing absorbing capturing and then reviewing being prepared for class means being on time reading the material prior to class starting making sure your needs have been met before class starts and having an accountability partner being prepared for a lecture makes a big difference in how well you absorb the ideas being presented taking in new ideas and information is more than just regurgitating it back on the test but more so understanding classroom topics you can do this by capturing the information your instructor presents by taking notes or recording lectures these are good ways to capture information, important information. You can go back and review this information after class has ended. Reviewing helps to solidify the information you have learned and are learning. And there are various learning styles that you may possess. You may be a visual learner, oral learner, a reading and writing type of learner, or a kinesthetic learner. It's important to realize the type of learner you are because you may want to match it up with your instructor's teaching style. But if your learning style does not match up with your instructor's teaching style, you are still responsible for learning that material. In college, there are different types of courses you can take. Core courses, required courses in your major, and electives. You want to work with your advisor to make sure that you are taking the right mixture of these types of courses. Your advisor is just one of the many resources that Southwest Community College offers you. There are also counselors, tutors, computer labs, and career guides. I strongly encourage that you seek help from as many resources as possible to ensure your success. Although this class is all about academic success, you cannot talk about success without talking about failure. You want to avoid failure by paying attention to your grade point average, or GPA, for this determines your graduation eligibility. If your GPA is high enough, then you can continue on to graduate school or some sort of professional school to further your education even more. But employers do not just look at grades, they also look at experience, independence, leadership qualities, and how well you collaborate with others. So, you want to make sure you get started on the right foot by meeting your academic advisor, going to tutoring, planning ahead, getting to know your peers and instructors, and also yourself. Also, do not forget to take good care of yourself, especially in times like this. By doing these things, you will already be a step ahead and well on your way to being academically successful. This concludes our first lesson. Uh, please feel free to email me or contact me if you have any questions.